still hot, so we made a game today. I am going to guide you today to learn about our meeting 25. It's about simple person dance. So simple person dance is when you make sentences to tell about or to show about three things. The first one is about repeated actions. And the second one is facts, and the third one is when you want to show about the near future events. Repeated action is habit, your habitual, your hobby, and your daily event that you always do in your daily routine. For example, you always go to school every morning, right? So you can make a sentence using present tense like I go to school every morning, like that. And this, uh, this is the example too. I play tennis every day. She doesn't play tennis every week. Does he play tennis every morning? And the second one is facts. Facts is when you believe that the event was true before, and true now, and also will be true in the future. For example, like, the earth is round, okay? And this is the example too. Cats like milk. Birds do not like milk. Two pigs like meat. And the third one is about near future events. When you have activity or events that has been scheduled in the near future. For example, like, the train leaves tonight at 6 p.m. Where does the train leave? And we talk about the pattern of simple present tense now. There are two patterns. The first one is verbal and the second one is nominal. In verbal, you will see verb here. Meanwhile, in nominal, you will not see verb, but you will see to be. Okay, let's start with verbal. Here is the positive sentence you have to include subject, verb 1 that you have to put as or es, and also the object as complement. Okay? Verb 1 as plus es. You will remember, you have to remember that it depends on the subject. Like she, he, it. You have to put the verb and add as or es. For example, she plays tennis. Man, how about they? So you have to say they play tennis. Not they play tennis. No, but they play tennis. Okay, let's move into the negative. Subject do or does not plus verb one plus object as complement. For example, they do not play tennis. Man, why they is using do here? It's because I, you, they, we should use do. When the subject is she, it, you should use does. They do not play tennis. She does not play tennis. And then the interrogative. Do or does plus subject plus verb one plus object as complement. Does he play tennis? Do they play tennis? Move into nominal. When you are going to make a sentence using nominal in the positive, you have to include subject plus to be is are are plus object or adjective as complement. She is busy. Mom, man, why she use is? Because she is must use is. When you say I, you should use am. When you say we and they, you should use are. She is busy. They are busy. I am busy. And the negative. You have to include subject is on R as the to be and plus not and also object and 
adjective as a complement. Like, I am not busy. She is not busy. They are not busy. And the interrogative. You have to put the to be before the subject. Is of are plus subject plus object and adjective as complement. Are they busy? Is she busy? Am I busy? Well, this is your task. Just take a look on your paper. Fill in the blank with the right form of the verbs in simple person acts. Oh, that's so easy. You have to put the verb, this verb here, and decide which one and which one is the correct answer. And also this one. Tell about your daily routine on Sunday using time. For example, every day I go to blah blah blah. At 6 p.m. I blah 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 blah. Something like that. Easy, right? And you can see uh, on your paper these additional vocabularies. Let's say it together. Hello. Forbid. Agree. Argue. Follow. Lead. Say it. Loud. Quiet. Catch. Meet. Near. Distant. Calm. Exciting. And this is your homework. Don't forget to do your homework at home. You may answer this by using or by giving the time. What time do you get up on the weekend? For example, Manzilpa gets up on the weekend at 12 a.m. <laughs> Something like that, okay? So don't forget to do your homework at home. Okay, this is all from Manzilpa. I hope you stay safe and stay at home. Don't go anywhere, okay? Please. Uh, still learn English in your home. So, 